Hi guys, the MPU6050 stability control system for Arduino works just fine in this Rally Fiesta. But the handmade shield is just ugly. Luckily this post bag from Osh Park arrived today. So hopefully it will contain the new shield PCBs. Yes, it does. So let's take a closer look. Looks good, only a few bars to remove later. The prototype of this board is installed in the Rally Fiesta at the moment. And yes, it's ugly, so let's remove it. This is the standard Arduino Micro RC receiver. And this is how the new PCB compares with the handmade one. So let's assemble a new shield with the new board. The first thing to do is to remove some burrs with the file. Okay, burrs removed. Now we want to solder a 100 nanofarad decoupling capacitor across V battery and ground. First we have to thin one solder pad. The solder is then reheated and the first side tacked on. The next step is to solder the second side. As you can see, an 0805 package can easily be soldered with a chisel tip. Now we want to prepare such two pin female headers. First we have to pull out the pins in the cutting area. And now we want to make everything nice and square with a file. Looks much better now. We also need a 90 degree angle pin header. The angle header is then tacked on.
Now we want to make sure that it is soldered square. So we have to press it down and reflow the first pin. The second pin can now be soldered. To solder the female headers, we use the micro RC receiver as a fixture. The ground pin is done, so it can't move anymore. The STI pin is not accessible. So we have to solder it outside of the micro RC receiver. Oops, the housing is still on the micro RC receiver pin header. Now we are ready to solder the second pin. All headers are now soldered and the next step is to solder the MPU6050 model. This is an MPU6050 standard model from eBay. It's called GY521. It will be soldered like this. The first pin doesn't have any function. It's only soldered to make it a bit more sturdy. The two boards are now held in place and we are ready to solder the remaining pins we want to use. The procedure is always the same. Stick the resistor through the hole, bend it and then solder it. We want to make sure that the solder flows through the entire hole. All pins are now soldered, VCC, ground, SCL and SDA. All other pins are not required or only soldered for reinforcement. Now it's time for a test. Will it work inside the car? Let's switch it on. The MPU6050 sensor is now calibrating. And now the car is ready to drive. The steering is now automatically compensating as soon as the sensor detects a rotation. The gain can be adjusted with the knob on the transmitter. 
If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Bye!